Hey, welcome back. Congratulations on completing the lecture part of SC900 course. Well done. The following 5 episodes are going to be review questions to do a knowledge check on all the things what we have learned on the previous episodes. Each episode will contain 10 questions and I will explain why the chosen answer is correct. Please pause the video after reading the question if you want to test your knowledge before I reveal the answer. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let us look into the question number 1. An organization has deployed Microsoft 365 applications to all employees. Who is responsible for the security of the personal data relating to these employees? The options are the organization, Microsoft the SaaS provider, or the shared responsibility between your organization and microsoft so we are looking at here the responsibility for the personal data relating to these employees so the correct answer is the organization in the shared responsibility model the customer organization always has responsibility for their data including personal data relating to employees let us look into question number 2 Which of the following measures might an organization implement as part of the defense in depth security methodology? I hope you remember we learned about defense in depth on episode number two or three. Let us look into the options: locating servers at different locations in your organization, multi-factor authentication for all users, ensuring there is no segmentation for your corporate network. The correct answer is. multi factor authentication for all users multi factor authentication is an example of defense in depth at the identity and access layer question number 3 the human resources organization want to ensure that stored employee data is encrypted which security mechanism would they use let's look into the options first hashing digital signing encryption at rest The correct answer is encryption at rest. Encryption at rest could be the part of security strategy to protect employee training data. Question number 4. When browsing Microsoft compliance documentation, you have found several documents that are specific to your industry. What is the best way of ensuring you keep up to date with the information they contain? Let's look at the options first. Would you save the documents to your my library or will you print each document so you can easily refer to them or download each document The correct answer is save the document to my library by saving the documents to your my library you will be prompted to say when you want to be notified of the updates Let us look into question number 5 A colleague has asked for your help in locating compliance and regulatory information relevant to your industry. You want to provide one link that will provide all the information they might need. Which Microsoft link should you send? The options are Microsoft Privacy Principles, Service Trust Portal, Microsoft Compliance Manager. The correct answer is Microsoft Service Trust Portal From the Service Trust Portal there are links to different sites containing compliance and regulatory documentation Let us look into question number 6 What type of security risk does a phishing scam pose The options are ethical risk physical risk and identity risk Correct answer is identity risk A phishing scam is an example of an identity attack. Question number 7. What is a benefit of single sign-on? The options are a central identity provider which can be used. The user sign in once and then can access many applications or resources or a password always expire after 72 days. The correct answer is 
The user signs in once and then can access many applications or resources. With single sign-on, a user sign in once and can then access a number of applications or resources. Question number eight. Which relationship allows federated services to gain access to resources? The options are claim relationship, shared access relationship, trust relationship. The correct answer is trust relationship. Federated services use a trust relationship to allow access to resources. Question number nine. Authentication is the process of doing what? The options are verifying that a user or device is who they say they are, the process of profiling user behavior, or enabling federated services. The correct answer is verifying that a user or device is who they say they are. Authentication is the process of verifying that a user or device is who they say they are. Let us look into the last question on this episode. Your organization is launching a new app for customers. You want your customers to use a sign-in screen that is customized with your brand identity. Which type of Azure external identity authentication solution should you use? Options are Azure AD B2B, Azure AD B2C, Azure AD hybrid identities. The correct answer is Azure AD B2C. Azure AD B2C is an authentication solution for customers that they can customize with their own brand identity. All right. So that's the end of the part one of the five part knowledge check episodes. In the next episode, we will go through part two of the knowledge check. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.